pretty good. Um, obviously, that's a great win for us. Um, you know, it's funny. I think like four times last year we had big games and the weather outside was not very good. And then tonight the weather wasn't great. Students were out of town. I thought our fans were incredible um, tonight, uh, showing up and giving us a boost. And um, so it was great. And I know how hard it is. I see the shuttles. When I'm leaving, people are getting on shuttles and taking them to the Metro. So I don't want our fans to think I take them for granted, um, especially on a night like this. So it was a great night. Um, we won because our defense was just outstanding. Jalen Smith was outstanding. Uh, the whole game defensively, battled, played with his feet, played smart. Um, and, uh, you know, we had a lot of guys play well. Darrell really took on a challenge with Washington. We guarded the three-point line well. They missed some shots they normally make, but we missed some shots we normally make too. So started slow, first media timeout, and then we got the lead. We were really good. And, um, you know, I, I'm encouraged because I don't think we're playing great yet. Um, but we beat a really, really good team that I think can win a national championship um, if things go the right way for them in March. So, great win. <coughs> Mark, in terms of the defense, the way you started defensively sort of kept you in the game in the offense wasn't yeah. doing anything. And also, Eric's insertion into the line when he sort of settled things into yeah. the line right away. So, that, that got you guys going on. Yeah, he was great in the he was great in the first half. Made some shots, sticks hit a couple. Um, yeah, uh, I can say it now because we didn't. But I thought right before half we blew the game. We're up twenty eight to twenty with three and a half to go, and their best players on the bench. And it's twenty eight twenty two at half. So didn't say that to the team. Just you know, hey, we're up six. We've been down most halves. So um, we did some things, but yeah, our defense was terrific. We're we're a work in progress. So. We had 11 turnovers at halftime, and we probably had another six or seven really bad decisions. Okay, so it's like 17 things that we didn't do well. Second half, we had four turnovers. Our decision making was better. We were able to get to the foul line, get downhill, shoot 50%. So we did a lot of things uh, really well um, offensively in the second half. But uh, it's who we are right now. And um, we have some guys that aren't playing up to their ability offensively really doing some great things defensively for us. So we're hanging our hat on that. It's early. We've got 16 games left in league play. Um, every game is going to be a battle, and hopefully we can just continue to grow uh, offensively you know, as the season goes on. That's your right. How the homework was doing the Daryl and yeah. um, the way you guys really. were, I know, um, the, way, the way you guys were able to It defend. worked for the Sun, but it's not working for the Post. <laughs> <laughs> um, how you guys uh, defended from from the perimeter and, and yeah. how much you feel like that impacted the game? Well, I really challenged Daryl because I think Washington is a terrific player. Not an okay player, but a terrific player. So I really challenged him. I had him too amped up uh, in the game. But I, I think it started with Daryl and Sticks. I think their defense was great. Anthony's always a, a really good defender. And then you have Sorrell coming in, and he's deflecting passes, and he's flying around, and Ricky Lindo has a big block. And so guys are buying into what we have to do defensively. Eric Ayala takes a huge charge. Um, they're in the second half, and I think they could have cut it to five. Um, so there's a lot of things that, you know, defensively. But we're putting a lot into our scout defensively right now. Uh, we've done it for two games. It's worked for us. Um, you know, they got a 1,000 plays, so, but it really comes down to uh, co concepts and, 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 and philosophy and stuff. But I thought our ball screen defense was better in the second half. It wasn't great in the first half, even though they had 20. But... I think we had the ball a little bit more under control in the second half. What did you emphasize with the team after that first time out to then, you know, be able to take the 12-11 advantage? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, guys, we've been here like 10 times before, you know, so we know how to climb out of this. Just relax. There's 36 minutes to go in the game, 35 plus. We're going to be fine. We're going to get some shots going. Just don't let your offense affect your defense. Must have said that 157 times this year at least, uh, probably more. And the guys are buying into it. So, But we never really got our offense going tonight. Credit them. They're a really good defensive team. Mark, the, the work that Dante put in tonight yeah. and also the, the last couple games, Yeah. how's he coming along, you yeah. feel like, it, and, and what do you think he can be by the time this season? Well, the, 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 it's how mature is he playing, right? So. It's funny because he's kind of holding back a little bit. 
um, because he's just trying to fit in and do what the coach asks. And he made some big-time plays out there and some big-time passes. I thought his defense was terrific. Um, just always trying to please as a player. So I think he's just getting started. I think these two games have been terrific. you got to follow up. I was just going to say, the pass that he made, the high pass six, yeah, six. in his own offense. And he made a tough shot against Wesson, and Wesson tackled him and it wasn't a foul call. Um, you know, so, yeah, that one rolled in. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's got some toughness to him. He's mentally, he's mentally, he's physically tough, and he's mentally tougher. And, uh, he's really helping us. Mark, do you guys like to defend? Uh, I think some guys do. Um, Eric, I'm trying to talk into a little bit, and uh, he really defended tonight. Um, I know Wiggs has grown into that role. Daryl loves it. Sticks has grown into it. Dante likes to do it. Anthony's been a terrific defender before I got before he got here. Um, so Sorrell's really bought into it since he came back from Christmas. He's just been a, he's out there getting deflections and doing all hit a big three for us, um, just doing his role and helping us. And um, so many guys played well tonight. It was hard for me to get other guys in the game. Um, I think I kind of froze Eric a little bit because I kept him out too long. He missed those two threes. If I'd have kept him in rhythm. He probably would have made those threes against the zone. So I told him that, um, that I kept him out too long. So um, do they like to defend? I don't know, but they like to win. They love to win. So they know that's what we have to do right now. Mark, you were uh, talking yesterday about Jalen and wanting to be a little more aggressive. He took a couple of real shots underneath from Wes and, and he seemed to come back. Even even stronger. Did, yeah. did, did you see that? Am I am I imagining that? Or yeah, and he got popped, and it was just it was below, so it wasn't a flagrant. It was below the face. You know, my whole deal with sticks is just bounce up. If you're not hurt, bounce up. And he did that. He bounced up every time. He was terrific. I mean, think about this. So we thought sticks was going to be our four man. You know, we're going to have the, you know players and this and that, and he was going to be a four man. So all summer he's guarding guards and this and that. And now he's guarding maybe the best low post player. In the country tonight, and uh, he just does it with a smile on his face. So I'm really proud of him and what he's given us. Hit two threes. He's really starting to shoot the ball well, um, and uh, you know we'll get him more involved. As, in the second half, we kind of spread it and drove it. He wasn't a big part of the offense in the second half, but um, he was terrific. You talked about the second half, all the good things you did on offense, but the first half it was the outside shooting. Yeah, about were, that. Were you at all surprised by that, and how important was that to get you guys ahead? I wasn't surprised because we've been shooting the ball really well in practice and scrimmages. So our last three charted practices, we've shot over like 60% and close to 42 or 3% from the three in practice. So as a coach, you've been doing as long as I have, you always know it starts in practice and eventually gets to the game. So we've got a couple guys right now that are much better shooters than they're shooting. You know, hopefully they'll, you know, they'll start making shots and that's going to open it up for Anthony to get more looks. And um, so it's coming. It, 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 it's, it, it's coming. Hopefully it'll start on the road. Mark, uh, you started out with three or four at home in the league. Now you have three or four on the road. How important was tonight in, the, in, in that context of of trying to just keep momentum going and then with going on the road. Yeah, I tell you what, um, you're sitting there at Christmas break and you got Indiana, you know, 11 and 2, and then these cats are probably, you know, everybody's saying two weeks ago we're number one team in the country. Um, had some injuries. Um, I think three of their four losses, they haven't had a starter in those losses. Um, so you don't know what lies ahead, you know, but what I'm really happy about is we're getting better, right? I mean, we look like a different team than we did, except maybe the Marquette game. And we're focused, we're, we're in tune. Guys are, you know, just, they're, they're locked in. So we gotta be a better, better road team. We haven't been a better, we haven't been a good road team yet. You know, we'll see. Hopefully this is the third one. You know, Friday night in Iowa, I'm sure it's gonna be a great crowd. We just, we gotta respond to it. And just follow up, it looks like you have a rotation now. It looks yeah. like it, it's a more settled rotation and it's not just, you know, getting guys in the game. Getting yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and how and much does that help you, you and help, help what they Yeah, do? we've still been in the starting lineup. I think Eric is our sixth starter. Eric plays starter minutes. Tonight was a little bit different uh, how we did it because Dante was so good defensively and we couldn't rebound. So I wanted to stay a little bit bigger. Um, but, um, 
yeah, we've settled in. And I thought Joel was pretty good tonight. You know, I mean, he wasn't a half step slow. He missed a, a rebound that he might get in about two weeks in the second half. Um, but he was good. Sorrell and Ricky have just been great defensively. And, you know, Eric's is, is so we're older. I mean, think about the bench Ayala, uh, Sorrell, and uh, uh, Ricky. Thank you. I think I'm the old man, right? right? So, you. Um, so uh, yeah, those three veteran guys have played a lot of minutes. Last one. Uh, Mark, that four guard lineup has been probably your best offensive yeah. lineup, and we didn't see them to the end of the game. No. Uh, do you think that that uh, we might see that lineup earlier in the future? Yeah, yeah. I was I was fighting with my guys over there, and I wanted to do it, but Dante was playing so well. He was playing so well. And I just I just didn't want to do it. You know, it's a gut feeling. Someone asked me last game, it's a gut feeling. You know, we won by 12, so I guess I was right uh, again. But. Um, <laughs> You know, we'll see. It is a good line. It was plus 20 in the Indiana game. Tonight, I, I like the line of people. Thanks, guys.